for many years I've been telling Manuel, Manuel, we need to prepare a place. This is not our place. We need to prepare. And he would discourage me. He would not give me a clear answer. And I would, I, I, all my life, I never used to want to disturb him. Because I, it's like he had a, 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 sixth, a sixth sense. It's like there's a way he would know something. I would say, Manuel, I, we need to prepare something. And he'll say, you wait, I will tell you. And I didn't want to stop him, I will wait. I wait maybe another six months, bring it in another way, and he would still not let me. And I, I was at peace with it. Did, little did I know that God would put that kind of thought into the heart of somebody to suggest it. <laughs> Many times, I would know that the term, this term has ended. I mean, that's it. And I would be saying, now Emmanuel, where do you want us to prepare? Where are we going, up? you know, from this house? Where are we, and of course, <laughs> at one time I even approached Honorable Munda to come and talk to Emmanuel, right Honorable Prime Minister. Talk to Emmanuel. We need to prepare where we are going because our time is ending. Because they had kept on talking to him and I didn't want to harass him. You can't believe it that even this, just before the renewal of this term, and I would, I would have said, Manuel, we are now left with three years. Emmanuel, we are left with two years. <laughs> and then you can't believe what he told me, and I could not even share it with anybody because it looked so stupid. He told me, Betty, I'm going nowhere. <laughs> And Papa was not well. Papa, we are doing so many things to present him to you people. You know, it was his brain which was working. But he was frail in very many ways. And he told me, I'm, no, I'm going nowhere. So I rested my case. I never even shared it with anybody because I knew everybody knew we are going. And, and behold, they renew the town. We thank God because had they not renewed his term, like Gen, uh, General Timothy said, he would not have had the kind of send-off that you are going to give him. Maybe. So we thank God that the president uh, entrusted him with the bank and trusted him, had confidence in him. Professor Manuel has lived a non-corrupt person. Maybe he stole money, he has other buildings, he has what? No. Bet must remain in the house. If another <laughs> when another governor comes, we shall get another official building. <laughs> God strengthens you. We know what you've gone through all this life, all this, this time. We'll always be there with you. I feel like he's inside of me because I've lived with him more than half of my life. I met him in the early 80s. Vastina is the one who knew Emmanuel, and she's the one who brought us together. <laughs> at that time, I really did not know what type of kind of person Emmanuel was. I would look at his big hands and think, this Michigan man beats me. <laughs> but later on in life, Emmanuel would say, Betty, uh, if I beat you, it's like my left hand is beating my right hand. So I got comfortable. Thank you, Vastina. You may take your seat. Uh, on my right, on my left here is my sister and Samari, who has been with me all this time I was in Nairobi. Thank you. You may take your seat. When I got to know Emmanuel well, we lived together before we came, we went to church because at that time everybody was going away because of the insecurity. 
So we did not know, is he staying, is he going? And I hadn't uh, committed my life to Christ. So like, uh, it was not until 90 that we celebrated and James, James witnessed our union. Uh, it took me time to actually learn the kind of person Emmanuel was. The man does not talk. He's quiet. I'm, me, I'm talkative. And many times I would feel like as if I want to dissect him and really know what he's thinking. Because uh, he would just look at me. I would speak like a thousand words and he speaks one word. And it really bothered me. But later on, I, 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 I got to know him, the kind of person he is. A man that feared God. Um, in, later on, uh, he, was, he became very active with Rotary. So I wondered whether those values that he had were like from you know, those of you who are Rotarians, the four-way test, uh, is it the truth? Is it fair at all concerned? Does it bring goodwill and friendship? Is it beneficial to all? So I wondered whether it was as a result of uh, Rotary uh, influencing him. But l I later on, <laughs> I would ask Canon Monica, because I, she told me they were like, together at school. And my and Monica told me, no, Emmanuel is just like his father. Emmanuel is a person that cares so much about other people, you know, above himself. So I think he has been like that. Um, that's how God made him. And I really thank God for his, for his life. I want to thank you all. You've been thanking me for looking after Emmanuel. But you know Emmanuel was such a nice person that you cannot fail to look after him. He was, I mean, I really don't know how to describe him much. Even my friends, they would say, uh, that you also brag over Emmanuel, but he was nice. He's, he's a man full of respect. He would respect everybody from the highest to the smallest. He respected everybody. Emmanuel had such integrity. He was a clean man. He was God-fearing. He was full of respect. He respected me to an extent that all his family had to respect me. Honestly, I, at this time, let me thank Emmanuel's family, each and every one of them. They have loved me, they have respected me, they have treated me well. Each and every one of them. Because they would see how Emmanuel treated me and respected me. Um, you've talked him, you talked about him over the things that um, he did as a student. Um, his employment, but us, we know him as a wonderful family man. Uh, our daughter Penina did say something like that. He was such a wonderful family man. Over the years, even the days when he used to go to Kampala Club, come 8 o'clock, Emmanuel is at home, we must have dinner together. And then the fellowship and the prayers. Over the years, Meal time is a is a time together, except for breakfast. But lunch and dinner, you all have to be together. And at this time, I want to thank the children. Um, I would like to ask you to stand up, all of you, and I introduce you because can you stand, all of you? This is Duncan Tomusine with his wife Marion. Where are you, Marion? And their daughter was here. I think she's gone back. Then there is. Uh, Florence and her dear husband Laban, where is Laban? Then this is uh, Nora and Joe, what is Joe? Then there is Penina and Paul and I saw Paul's dad, you're most welcome. Then um, where, are the, where are the other children? And some of his kids uh, have become part of us. So. These children, we thank God really for Emmanuel because he has had time with us. We cannot say that he was not an absent dad. You may take your seats. He's not, he was not an absent dad. He was present 
all the time in their lives. The loving father, and of course he didn't father only these ones, there are many others, and some of his children, many, many others, they have uh, Grace, whom I've lived with for I don't know how many years in this house. I mean, when I came, when I started staying with Emmanuel, the, Joseph, his youngest brother, had just, I think, finished either senior four or senior six, he came and lived with us, you know? So it's like they have all gone through our hands. And uh, Emmanuel had time for everyone. And then as well as this part of my life has gone. But I thank God because Emmanuel was God-fearing. Emmanuel was loving, caring, kind. Those are the things that I'm thinking, I'm, I'm remembering about him. I, honestly, and I have no regrets whatsoever in my life. Say, how I wish I had done this. Oh, how I wish I had. No. It's like his time had come. Because Emmanuel had very many uh, near-death experiences in his life for, for many years. But somehow, God brought him back. And so unjagala oyongere okukubira abana Uganda ekifananyi ku onyikize ekintu obo mugaso gwa biodigest eno dalu muna Uganda ali ayongere omanya engeri jemu yamba kakati biodigesta eine migaso minji eine migaso minji nyo nyo okusinzira ku eri gundi ya fenkade omugaso ogusoka biodigesta ya rice okusinzira ku eri gundi ya fe enkade Bayo ya laisi nyo, baka stoma betukule deko bachi, bachi wera ko obujulizi. Na bala batukubi deko bachi wera ko obujulizi. Ya laisi nyo, okusinzi la kwele ya fengkade. Echo kulala, etuwa lena kumtono nyo okugwa. Okugwa, eja kutuwa lile nina ku wakati uorumu, nina ku satu. Ebe ili mazoko laki, oku installi inga wano, inga chisika dide mpozi kutambu za pipe, drainage mita drainage work. Tamza pipe okuva mu nju paka ku system wano. Neyenga e uji installing awo chikutwali na ku ntono nyo. Ekyo kulala na dalaba nafa abali ya wafunda. Nawo benyini nyini abali ya wagaga ku e wagazi. Ransonga anti tegenda ko chisirabu chineno cho walabanga olusitili ko foot za cho 15 kwa abidi. Kiba chise space nene nyo. So ekirungi kya biodigester tugenda kuzawe takali yawo. Nga wetuwa lisanze, etakali dao, wafuke msuetwe, nga wechaba de. Omunga sogo kulala, space yo osi ojisigaza, nchino roku banti, tubisewo, tubisewo burunje, takani lidao nga ili haba de, kebe moto kayo, okolachi, ojiingiza, nojipaki nga kukunguru. Echitari kweli gundi ya fenti, tuwasimanga kwa tuwateka nga kwa chisirabu, nga gundi ya etichifejo chiba chikozechi, mebio chore zako, ne waneno, Obise obulunje taka, peva zo zigenda ko, omudo gogu simba ko, paskala mbwenjo gira ko. Sisti mungerie yu, wali ba jaba buza, gundi yu wa eliri dawa, na yenge eliri wansi yu, wali ko paskala mwa, oluso yu, opakinga na kemi motoka yu. Echo kununu wa mu ijo? Okununu wa mu, tenunu wa mu, tuchita no emptying. Tetunu na mu, tetunu na mu biodigester, pozi nga ituwa gambi yeko, just my inja gegeta aga service, eyo muda, olusi nga na wafadda, Na haba na bebali kolachi, bebali gasavisi nga amba inja. Nenga yote nunuamu, nga ula bagundi ya feli. Nkade, intine miaka ajibebili, e satu, oja kujio kolechi, ono nemu. Atuwe taze, oja tusanga kamocha. Tuli plot 45, Prince Charles Drive. Jetusangibwa, e namba ze simu, nkanzi demu. E atel, e li 0701766992. 0789224230 Ni namba za fendala Tuine namba anga satunya Zona wezili wansawo Zona osoro ziku, oziku Oziku onako Oba whatsapp obachi Obo jatutuka ko Tukwata ganye 